Hello and welcome. Today we're working on an introduction to accounting. Now what we have in accounting, a lot of problems, a lot of terms, but at the very beginning we, we're going to look at, in the introduction, we're going to look at different terms and concepts and organizations and things like that. So a lot of terms that you need to know to kind of get a good foundation in accounting. Now, accounting is the language of business, so what we have is lots of terms, lots of concepts, lots of foundational issues that you need to understand. Now, I'm just using my website, Finally Learn, and so I have several lessons you'll see in lesson one, the introduction, the careers and the certifications and the organizations, all those acronyms that you might see in your class, and then the accounting concepts. So I've provided links here below where you can do this and look at what goes on. Now, what is accounting? Accounting uh, records, classifies, summarizes financial information. So records, classifies, summarizes, and reports. Now, what we have is we have transactions and we need to record those transactions because we need to summarize those. We need to put them in categories and then ultimately the goal is to issue financial information to the public, to owners, to investors, and so on. All right, so that's the goal. So we have lots of transactions where we buy something or we pay for something. We, re we work hard and receive maybe some cash because we provided a service or provided a product. And so that's basically what accounting is. It's the language of business, but we're taking all these transactions, classifying them, summarizing them, and reporting them as financial statements. So the very first class you take in accounting is called financial accounting. And so financial accounting is this whole system that we have, and it's called financial reporting or financial accounting, or it's the very basic ideas of accounting. And we're going to issue financial statements. That's the goal of everything. Sometimes we get so detailed and you forget, hey, we have financial statements that we're going to ultimately provide at the end of the month or end of the quarter or end of the year. So this is a good start if you want to understand business is to understand accounting. All right, so who uses accounting? Well, we have internal users, people like owners or employees or managers or officers. Now, those people could overlap. The owners could also be managers or officers or whatever. The other thing is we also have external users, lenders or creditors, you go to the bank, investors or shareholders. Now, investors or shareholders are also called owners but they may not really work for the business. So we're going to classify those as external users. We could have government agencies, customers, general public, labor unions, independent auditors, so on, is external users. Now, if you take a second course in accounting, then it generally would be managerial accounting. And so this is all the internal accounting that happens uh, in a business that is not public knowledge. Like, what is the cost of our product or whatever. Now, here are some things we, we need to know. Um, I'm gonna run through this real quickly. I have a whole topic on this and I have a whole video on the accounting uh, organizations. So real briefly, in the United States, the organization that has the ultimate authority is the Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC. And they allow the Financial Accounting Standards Board uh, to do the work. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, sometimes we call it FASB, that's the organization that sets these standards. Now, these standards are called GAAP, or Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. So these are the rules in the United States. Now, in the United States we had a long history of financial accounting standards, so there has developed an alternate system around the world called the International Financial Reporting Standards, the IFRS, and there is an International Accounting Standards Board. So these are very equivalent. At, one, at some point in the future, we may not have two separate organizations. We may have one IFRS and International Accounting Standards. But right now we have two systems. We have the United States system with GAAP and the international system with IFRS. Now, their legal form of business, and this is basically true in uh, most countries, but let's focus on the United States. If you have one owner 
and it's a real simple business, then you have a proprietorship or a sole proprietorship. If you have more than one owner, then you have a partnership. Now these two are really not very legal intense. So if you and I decide to start a business and sell t-shirts, we just have to agree and now we're in a partnership. So these next two are really the forms that you're gonna see. You're gonna see a corporation, which is a separate legal entity incorporated under uh, state law. And so then you can issue stock and have stockholders and so a lot of times your accounting class will deal with corporations uh, at the very beginning. Now there's a another type of company that's kind of a hybrid company called a limited liability company or LLC and so it's a little bit easier to become an LLC and to manage an LLC than a corporation and so a lot of small businesses are LLCs. You might see uh, somebody on their van or a truck and it says um, the name of the company, LLC, well, you know they're a limited liability company. All right, so those are basic business forms. What about the activities a business might do? Well, service companies sell services for a fee. They would sell maybe consulting services or whatever. And so a lot of times in your first three or four chapters in the book, in the accounting book, you would see a service company and they just have fees revenue or service fees or service revenues and they don't sell products yet. The next two type of companies are very similar. A merchandising company is like a maybe a grocery store or a retail store and they sell products. They buy products and resell them. If you're a manufacturing company then you buy uh, raw materials, create products and then sell those products. So a little bit more intensive. These two types of business, the biggest cost would be a cost of sales or a cost of goods sold. You'll get to that in about chapter three or four. Um, a lot of your uh, initial examples will be a service company. Now, important thing here, you need to know the five types of accounts. Every lesson, every day in accounting or every lesson that we're going to do for the next several lessons we'll talk about what are the five types of accounts and we'll review that. So make sure you know the five types of accounts. Number one is our assets. Assets are anything of value that the company owns. Number two are liabilities or debts the company might have. Number three is equity. Equity is anything that's not um, claimed by the creditors, the debts, are claimed by the owner. So you can define equity as assets minus liabilities. Next one you have are revenues. Anytime you sell a product or service, you receive assets in the form of cash or other assets, and so that's a revenue. And then expenses, anytime you use up or consume assets. All right, so these are the five accounts. Take notes on these. You'll always have everything will be one of these five types of accounts. All right, the accounting equation is one of the things you need to know and the accounting equation says that assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. So let's make a simple example. If you have assets of $1,000 and your debts are 200, then your equity has to be 800. Now you can rearrange this and say equity plus liabilities equals assets. So if your equity is 500 and your liabilities are 1,000, then your assets have to be 1,000 plus 500 or 1,500. We'll do lots of problems with the accounting equation, but you need to understand this is what that means. Accounting equation, assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. All right, so I have a whole video of the accounting equation. We talk about that. There's an expanded one. I don't want to talk about, um, well, let me talk about it just for a second. You can add revenues and minus expenses and all, all that rolls into um, equity. And so assets would equal liabilities plus equity. And then revenues and expenses would increase and decrease equity. I have a whole video on this. If you go, and I'll put a link below on the accounting equation, just starting to think about it. Now, the goal of accounting is to issue financial statements. We have four different financial statements. The income statement is going to be revenues minus expenses. Here's an example of an income statement. We've got revenue at the top and all these are expenses. So you're trying to figure out how well that you, did you do. You have the revenues 
minus all the expenses, and you have net income or net profit of $3,800. So income statement is revenues minus expenses. The next one is our balance sheet, and I've done a big balance sheet. Let's look at it um, in kind of sections here. The balance sheet is assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. Now remember that, that is the accounting equation we did just a minute ago. So you list, list all our, we list all our assets, and then we're going to list all our liabilities, and then all our equity, and they should all equal. So in this little problem, this little balance sheet, total assets are 59500 and your total liabilities and equity are 59500 Now, I know we're going fast. I'm trying to get you the overview so you kind of know where to place things, because we'll start working with problems and do transactions at the very beginning where you have to figure out, well, is this an asset or a liability or an equity or a revenue or an expense? And here's where they all show up. They show up on the income statement or the balance sheet. Now, cash flow is all the cash inflows and outflows. That really is a, um, something we do later on, um, not at the very first chapter or so. It's a chapter in managerial accounting, about chapter 14, 15, something like that. So. Uh, typically beyond what you do in financial accounting. And then you have some kind of uh, owner's equity statement here. I have a retained earnings statement. So here's how much the uh, earnings have been kept by the company. This ties into the stockholder's equity section. So we have a special stockholder's equity statement uh, to keep up with how much the owners own. But the big Statements you, you need to understand at the very beginning are income statement and balance sheet. Now, just a couple more things to finish up here. There are three goals of financial reporting. We're trying to figure out the financial position of a company. So the financial position of the company, we're going to look at the balance sheet, the assets, the liabilities, and the equity. To try to figure out the cash flows, we have the cash flow statement. To try to understand the operating results, we're going to have the income statement. So these three uh, different goals that we have, we're trying to figure out how well are we doing, and that's why we have financial statements. Even more basic than what we just did, there's two goals of every business. Two goals of every business include solvency and profitability, and that's in order. Solvency is the ability to pay your debts when they're due. You've got to be solvent, you've got to pay your debts. So if you have a business that's new, you may not be profitable yet, but you need to be solvent. And so solvency, that's a balance sheet kind of question or a cash flow statement kind of question. And then the last one is profitability, is we want to be able to generate a positive profit where our revenues are greater than our expenses. All right, so what we have is, I've got a little basic story about understanding accounting. Accounting, I call it the easiest cake with a story. And so um, the very first thing you want to know is, is our basic five types of accounts and our four financial statements. That is everything we're going to build on in accounting. I've got some accounting lessons, um, and so I'll put all the accounting lessons. I've got the first several finished, and I'm working on that. Uh, this is September of 2023. I'm working on those so you can have a full financial accounting uh, lesson, like a full financial accounting course with all the different chapters. So this is Introduction to Accounting uh, Lesson 1, but we have some other lessons attached to that. I'll link the videos included. And so what we have is we have Accounting Careers and Certifications. We'll dive in those uh, more specifically. And then Accounting Concepts. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Good luck in accounting.